Good morning and welcome to this morning's children's talk from Providence Baptist Church. Before we begin this morning's Bible's talk, let's talk about maps. Here's a picture I'm sure you can all recognise. It's a whole lot of houses in the town seen from above. Here's a house, well, a couple of houses. Here's a garden with washing on the line. Here's a road. Here's another road. There's a car, a whole street seen from above. Let's go a bit higher. We can't see the cars now or the houses so well, but we can see more roads. If we go a bit higher still, we can barely see the houses at all. But look up at the top. Now we can see the beach and the sea. If we go still higher, we can see other towns by like Rochford, Canvey, Rayleigh, and we can see more of the sea. The green bits of the land and the blue bits of the sea. It's a map. We can see where the towns are, the roads and the rivers. Now we'll open the Bible bookcase and continue hearing about Samuel. Samuel was taken by his mother to serve at the tabernacle, God's special place of worship, at a place called Shiloh. Here's a map again, the blue bits of the sea and the green bits of the land. This is the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. You might know some of these countries, like Italy, Greece, and down the bottom is Egypt, where the pyramids are. Our Bible stories mostly come from this place, here, the land of Palestine or Israel. Let's blow up the map and we can see Shiloh here. There Samuel grew up serving in the tabernacle and God spoke to him. The Lord was with Samuel as he grew up and let none of his words fall to the ground. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word. Now, in the tabernacle, there was a curtain, and beyond that curtain was the Holy of Holies. In the Holy of Holies was the Ark of the Covenant, a gold-covered chest that had been made by Moses, according to God's instructions, just like the tabernacle was. And in it were the stone, the stone tablets with God's rules written on them, as well as a pot of the manna that God had provided as food for the Israelites in the wilderness, and Aaron's staff, a kind of walking stick. The Israelites had had the ark with the army when they attacked the town of Jericho and its walls had fallen down. And there it was in Shiloh. Now Israel had some fierce enemies called the Philistines. And when they attacked them, they took the ark thinking that it would win the battle for them. It didn't. The ark was captured. Now, I can't go into that story now, but it ended up at a place called Kiriath Jirim. Now, Samuel called the people together at a place called Mizpah. And Samuel urged the people to put themselves right with God and get rid of their false gods. He said, if you're returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourselves of the foreign gods and commit yourselves to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. The Philistines heard that Israel was gathered at Mizpah, and so they marched there to attack them. The Israelites cried out to God for help, and God threw the Philistines into a panic with loud thunder, and they ran from the Israelites. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and he named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far has the Lord helped us. Samuel led the Israelites for many years, but in the end they wanted a king over them, like other nations. We want a king over us, then we will be like other nations, with a king to lead us and go out before us and fight our battles. When Samuel heard all that the people said, he repeated it before the Lord, and the Lord answered, 
Listen to them and give them a king. Next week, we will turn our attention to the stories about Paul, the apostle, and come back to Samuel at a later date. Thank you for listening.